All right, guys, believe it or not, I fed the last of the hay to my cows, and I'm going on another hay run. <laughs> Come along for the ride. All right, so this should be interesting. Uh, I've never been to this place before, and I'm actually getting uh, some alfalfa this time. And it, let me tell you, it's a lot cheaper to get alfalfa, even though it gives my cows the squirts. <laughs> but it uh, uh, gives them a really nice coat, and it gives them a lot of protein. And I think you get more for your money, so I'm going to go back to alfalfa, try it again. <laughs> so let's go. Alright, so change of plan, I decided to go with a grass hay instead of alfalfa. He's got it pretty much the same price, it's like 30% alfalfa, so it'll be perfect. It's a nice skid steer.
broke a string. strapped down and ready to go. Definitely don't want to break down out here. <laughs> so that guy said he owned some cows. I'm thinking that it's these cows down here. I'm here at Murdoch's. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my tarp, but I definitely need a new tarp for this thing. So this 20 by 30 tarp should be perfect.
All right, so I made it home finally. <laughs> Seemed like a long, long trip. Uh, and uh, no truck problems. And that was a true test of the truck, hauling this stuff up the hill. And the only thing I've ever hauled this heavy, I think, was that tractor when I uh, had Iris's funeral. <laughs> that thing was really, really heavy. But it's kind of interesting with this hay that you kind of look at the outside, it looks bad. But if you look at um, the inside, it looks like really good. It's, it's, it looks like it's orchard and alfalfa. I think it's really good hay once you kind of break into it. A little sun bleached on the outside. But I think it's some of the, I mean, just from the outside, it looks like some of the best hay I've had. And take a look at this over here. So I actually bought this tarp. Mm, I'd say maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty, it, I don't know if you noticed how ripped up it is, but it is really, it's really brittle too. So. <laughs> it rips real easy. And actually on that last load, it had so many tears in it that the rain was getting on it and uh, the, the hay was getting moldy. So I think what I'm going to do now, uh, even before I take the straps off, just kind of out of curiosity, I want to open up that new tarp and see if it fits. And I kind of pre-measured, but <laughs> I never had a tarp that size, so we'll check it out and see if it fits. All right, so it looks like that tarp fits perfectly. And kind of what I wanted was uh, a little bit over the, the front tongue. And then a little bit here, just to, I was thinking I could put some tires on it to kind of weight it down. And a little bit in the back to, to weight it down. And on the sides here, it was like, it was almost meant for this, <laughs> for this trailer. It's a perfect size. So that should last me probably another month. Uh, so we have two less cows to feed, which is kind of nice. Uh, but we have all these calves that, as they get older, they eat more and more. So we have three calves here. And I'm not sure about the, the cows in Pueblo. At some point, I'm going to have to bring those, those two cows back. And uh, then I'll have two more. <laughs> but I think with the two from Pueblo, um, that should last more than a month, which is good. So thanks for coming along on that wild ride, and I will see you next time.